The images I am showing are all from China. China follows the conservative economic principles. This means no regulations, or it allows companies to be self-regulating. Buyer beware, or the principle of word-of-mouth regulations. This means that one consumer tells other consumers that the company makes bad products or provides bad services. Then all consumers will stop buying from the company. If all consumers stop buying from the company, the company will go out of business. Therefore, to keep from going out of business, all companies will provide quality products and services. Plus, since there are no regulations, means that there are no laws to protect consumers or the public. Therefore, if a company makes a mistake or provides bad quality, there is nothing the consumer can do because there is no law against it. Conservative economics sounds logical and reasonable. And because of this, many people follow conservative economics. However, what you are seeing are the results. About 20 years ago, I and a friend got into a discussion about lowering taxes for the rich and corporations. He said that the rich and corporations are the job creators. If you lower their taxes, they will have more money to create more products. If they create more products, then they have to hire more people. I said that is wrong. No one will operate their business this way. That is part of conservative economics. And conservative economics is designed to keep as much money in the hands of the rich as possible. Companies are in the business to make money. A company will only create a product they know they can sell. Plus, if they know they can sell the product, then companies will create the product if we do not lower their taxes. Therefore, creating more jobs. They are not going to make products just for making products. If you lower taxes for the rich and corporations, then the government will have less tax revenue coming in. To make up for the shortfall in taxes, the government will have to get the tax revenue from either cutting social programs, or taxing middle or lower income people. Thus, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Plus, in the United States, major corporations have over 2 trillion in savings. The United States yearly budget is 4 trillion, and this covers everything. All social programs, education, the military, everything. Therefore, except for the United States. Major corporations in the United States have more money compared to every country in the world, yearly budget. How much more money do they need? However, China followed this strategy, and here is what happened. I will put a link to these videos in the description. Plus, if you want to know the truth about China, then watch these channels. The government of China gave companies money to build electric cars. And yes, it created a lot of jobs. And as you see here, they built a lot of electric cars. The problem is that there was not a big market for electric cars. Yet, they kept building them. They built so many electric cars that they could not sell, they had to stockpile or store them all over China. In the forest, parking lots, under bridges, wherever they could. One parking lot has over 10,000 electric cars. I am going to let this part play to the end so that you can see how big of a problem this created. This part is about 2 minutes long. Now, Someone will have to clean all of this, and recycle or destroy all of these surplus electric cars. And like in the United States, the Chinese government is not giving money to clean all of this. Thus, if you lower taxes to allow companies to build more products, and the products do not sell. Someone will have to pay to recycle or destroy all the surplus products. This is a lot of wasted money and resources.
I also want to add that the electric cars that Chinese companies created are dangerous. This is why they cannot be sold in the United States, Canada, and most of Western Europe. They catch on fire at any time in any place. While driving or parked. And when they catch on fire, everything that is close also catches on fire. I am going to let this part play to the end so that you can see how big of a problem this created. This part is about 5 minutes long.
Plus, China followed this strategy for six years with bicycles, and here is what happened. This is a waste of money and resources. Plus, now someone has to clean up all of this junk. I am going to let this part play to the end so that you can see how big of a problem this created. This part is about two minutes long. Plus, China followed this strategy when it came to real estate. I will let this lady explain what happened. How big is China's real estate bubble? And urban rural development recently announced that the country has 600 million residential buildings. Not 600 million homes or apartments, but 600 million buildings. That means China has enough housing units to accommodate 5 billion families or 15 billion people. That's like two homes for every person in the world. Realizing they've overbuilt, local governments started to tear down some of the buildings. But people who have invested in these real estate are crushed as they see their buildings becoming dust. China built buildings, homes, bridges and roads so quick and fast that most of them are no good. I have two friends that lived in China for eight years, and they told me that what you are about to see is common in China. What you are seeing is an apartment building that has fallen over. Apartment buildings are supposed to be anchored into the ground. What you are seeing is a highway bridge that has fallen over. There are four trucks that fell with the bridge. All of these lies help to make China's economy look good. Better than what it truly is. But now you know that it was all a lie. China's economy was never truly great. And now all the money is gone. Thus, most of these companies are no longer in business, which has caused massive unemployment. This means less tax revenue. This have resulted in China's local governments are now out of money, and cannot pay governmental employees. China's federal government said that they are not going to help the local governments. This indicates that the federal government is also running out of money. Since the people have no money, they are not having children. The birth rate in China is almost zero. This has resulted in schools all over China closing. Conservative economic principles sound logical and reasonable. If China keeps following conservative economic principles, then they will be a failed state in five years.